series on my channel to show you guys how to use iMovie and how to edit your YouTube videos or wherever you want your videos to be uploaded, how to edit them using iMovie. So first things first, just to give a little introduction about iMovie, iMovie is a free app that is through Apple products. So if you have an iPhone, um, if you have a MacBook, if you have an iPad, then iMovie comes on your device for free. If you have an Android, if you have Windows, if you have anything outside of Apple, I, I am sorry, I have no suggestions for you. I only know iMovie and I only know that it's available for Apple products. So I do apologize. I have no suggestions. I'm sorry, okay? But iMovie is basically software that allows you to edit video. You can trim video. You can change the color. You can um, add music. You can take away the music. You can do voiceovers. You can do almost any and everything with iMovie. And the best part about it all is that it's free. And because it's free, this is the only thing I've been using. I have never used Final Cut Pro. I have never paid or used any other apps when it comes to editing videos, reels, TikToks, Instagram. Um, well, I said reels, YouTube. I've never used any other platform for editing my videos. I've only used iMovie, okay? So basically to open the iMovie app, down here at the bottom, um, it is going to be the purple star with the camera inside of it. And I feel like that is the same icon if it is on your iPhone as well. Yep, that's the same icon. So basically to open it, you just click on it. Um, hold on, let me exit out of this project. So to start a new video, you're going to click on create new and you're going to click on movie. I almost never use the trailer option. As a matter of fact, I've never used it. I always use movie. Okay. So you're going to click on movie. So basically I'm just going to get into editing a couple videos just to go over the most used options that I use on iMovie. So basically on the side, you will see there's a toolbar where you can click on um, photos, all events, blah, 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 iMovie library. It's going to automatically start creating these libraries for you. So every time you create a new movie, it's going to create a folder for that movie. And each folder is going to store all of the videos or sound that you use for that particular movie that you were creating. Okay. So to add videos on the left-hand side toolbar under libraries, you're going to click on photos and then you're able to select videos. You can show all, you can show photos, you can only, you can show your favorites, but because I'm editing videos, I am going to choose the video option. So to add a movie on iMovie, on the MacBook, you're just going to click on whatever video you want and hit the plus sign, okay? If you want to add more than one video, you can take your mouse and drag it over all of the videos you want to add. And then you'll see how it all lights up yellow. Then you can drag it down, okay? Um, you don't have to drag it down. After you put your mouse over all of them, just hit the plus and it'll drag all of them down for you too. So now the next thing that I really like to do one of my favorite um, editing options that I like to do, I love to break up a clip and to trim it and to remove the audio from the clip because I love to add in my own music. So for example, let's listen to this clip right now. I'm moving a whole chair, y'all. <laughs> And I can hear myself breathing and I can hear like the air in the background. So first things first, I am going to want to trim this. So if you take your mouse, you see how it's a yellow bar here. When you take your mouse, you can drag it over to the part that you want to keep or the part that you want to take out. 
So right here is where I move the chair and then I get back into the frame. So I want that hair flip. So I'm going to move it after I push the chair over, but right before I do this hair flip. So about right here, I'm going to click on it. To trim it, I'm going to hit Command and B at the same time. Command and B. It is now going to split that clip up into two parts. One, two. One, two. The part I didn't want and the part I do want. The part I don't want, I'm going to click on it and hit delete. And it's gone. Okay? <laughs> And now we have the hair flip, me smiling, me feeling myself. So I like that. I'm going to drag it to another. Okay. Apparently, I look to the side right here and grab something, child. I ain't want to look to the side. So I'm going to trim it again. I'm going to drag my mouth, uh, not mouth, mouse over the section that I want to take out. I'm going to hit command B and now I have the clip that I want to keep here. I'm going to continue to scroll over. All right. That's the part I wanted to, Oh, I got my lip gloss, sweetie. All right. Right here where I open up the lip gloss, I'm going to start right there. I'm going to click command B, get rid of the clip. I don't want by clicking on it and hitting delete. And now I have this clip of me opening my lip gloss, putting lip gloss on my lips. I'm going to kiss the air. I'm going to giggle. <laughs> I'm going to do another hair flip. Turn to the side. Okay, girl. She feeling herself. I smiled again. Okay. I'm going to end it right here. Click on it. Command B to split it to break it up command b get rid of the clip i don't want all right so now i have the clips that i do want and let's look at it you should always go back and replay it to make sure it looks exactly how you want it to look <laughs> oh that was cute <laughs> I'm cute. Period. Get you a wig by Ebony. Let me make you a wig. All right. Anyways, y'all ain't here for that. So I want to remove the sound. So to remove the sound, you just click on whatever clip you want to take the sound from. And over here on the right hand side, it's already on the audio function. But if it's not right here, the little volume button, you would click on it. Okay. The audio, because I want to mute it. I'm just going to click this button and it's going to cancel out all audio. Sometimes you don't want to cancel out audio. You just want to lower it. So maybe you still want people to hear you, but you don't want it as loud. You can adjust the volume here by dragging it over and it'll change the percentage. Okay. If you want to make your clip louder, drag it over. It go all the way up to 400%. So that's how you can play around with the sound. Um, but like I said, I want to completely remove the sound. If you want to completely remove the sound of multiple click, um, multiple clips, you could take your mouse, hold down on your mouse, and drag it over two different files at the same time. No, as a matter of fact, child, no. You click, you click Command, you click on one file, and you click on the other. Okay. Command, click on one file, click on the other while you're still holding down command, the command button. And then you're able to mute both clips at the same time. So that's if you want to mute multiple clips at the same time. Um, all right. So then we have another clip here. Another thing that I really like to use on iMovie is transitions. So when you're moving from one clip to the next, sometimes you don't want it to just jump directly from one clip to the next example. Well, okay. I'm okay with that jump because it's the same background. I'm wearing the same clothes or whatever, but this is the transition I don't like. 
but don't my hair and makeup look so i didn't like how i just went directly from this to that now it did look like it transitioned over really well because my camera was blurry at first and then it focused in on me hold on let me remove the blur the blur so you guys can really see how like ugly it could be if it didn't have a blur it just jumped right into it like the people don't know what's going on like how you go from one clip to the next so at the top right over here at the top they have a section called transition my favorite transitions to use is the cross dissolve the cross blur um the wipe to the left wipe to the right and the slide to the left slide to the right okay those are my favorite transitions so the cross blur is gonna blur it out that way people can know like you're actually moving the video along and you're gonna show them a different clip you see how it blurred out we can also do like a slide to the right slide to the left crisscross okay <laughs> So it's always important to use transitions, especially if you're doing vlogs or if you're doing YouTube videos, because it just kind of make things flow. Okay. So that's another thing that I like to um, utilize. Something else that I already said that I utilize the most here on iMovie is going to be audio. Okay. If y'all want me to do a whole free video on audio, where to get, um, copyright free audio music that you can use on your youtube because if you're using youtube to make money you cannot be using your favorite celebrity songs or you will not make money on youtube they will hit you with a copyright and you might eventually get kicked off of youtube they will delete all your videos all your accounts all of that you don't want that if you're trying to make money on youtube you got to use copyright free music okay so if you guys want me to do an entire video on that let me know in the comments because i will and i'll give you a rundown of <clears throat> all of my favorite songs but basically to add music you're going to click on the audio button at top at the top okay you're going to choose whatever song whatever sound you want to drag down and basically my favorite sound is encore by king sis right here it's already highlighted i use it so much you just click on it and drag it wherever you want it to be in your video you click on it and you drag it okay you can drag it here if you want the music to come in here you can drag it there i'm gonna drag it in the beginning okay another feature i like when it comes to the music i feel like i'm talking too fast now let me slow down y'all you know what this is just an introductory video just to see you just to show you guys the options and stuff that i use so I can definitely slow anything down going forward if you guys need me to slow it down. But I just want to show y'all a little bit of my magic and just key, key things that I use to edit videos, okay? Um, so with the music, let's go ahead and play it how it is now. I'm sorry, y'all. I am such an expert that I'm going to have to just fill y'all in on a, a, a certain um, trick. When you are, when you have music and when you're trans um, trans transitioning between different clips, if you really want people to be engaged and highly captured and really just feel and love your um, videos, every time a beat drop, Okay, for those who understand what a beat drop is, because everybody gonna be in it. But for those who understand a beat drop, every time a beat drop transition to something different. So let me go ahead and do it, y'all, because it's it's hurting my soul that it's not transitioning the way that I need to transition. So hold on, let's see. Pause right there before the beat drop. I paused it. Whenever you pause it. It's going to automatically have a place keeper right here. You see that white line that's over where I paused it at? Click on it and make it yellow. Command B to break it up and delete the part that was after the little beat drop, okay? All right, I'm finna do another one. I did Command B. Oh, so this is another thing that you can do. You can trim it. So by trimming a clip... 
basically your dragnet. Mm. I don't know why I'm getting congested, y'all. Excuse me. So basically you can drag it. So this clip is yellow. I'm going to hover over the very beginning. You see how I created two arrows, like an arrow going to the side, to the side. That means you can drag it, you know, over. So I'm just going to drag this over. Come on now. Hold your mouse down, drag it over. Hold on, where was it? Hold on, what was this clip? Is this the clip that I'm deleting? Hold on, no, no it's not. Hold on, I'm getting confused. Was that the lip kiss? Hold on. Who gonna do the right to the lip kiss? Hold on, I gotta make sure I drag it to the right spot. All right, we're gonna start it there. Let's play this again. All right. It's finna drop again. Bam. All right, I'm getting rid of this. Okay? Then we're gonna have that transition over to the new video. Let me look at it again. that transition was smooth did y'all catch that so you want to align your clips up with the beat of the music and then you had that transition and it slide over baby it is so nice and smooth okay so another thing i like to do since i'm about to start talking in this clip right here i need to fade out the music so we finna cut the music up okay so let's say um instead of cutting the music here clicking on the music this is an instrumental and doing command B and then deleting this. I mean, you can do it this way too. And deleting this, we want the music to fade out. Like we don't want the music to be nice and strong and then bam, I'm just talking. Everything gotta be transitional. So let me give you an example of what it sound like um, now. <clears throat> That was ugly, y'all. That was so ugly. The music just stopped. Like, we was just feeling the music. So, what you want to do, click on it. You're going to drag the corner down because we're going to make this transitional. Come on now. We're going to drag it over a little bit over the next clip. Then, they have the options. I don't know if you see, like, it's a little circle right in this area right here. You're going to click on the little circle and you're going to drag. Hold on. The circle, not the edge. There you go. And you're going to drag it over. That way the music can fade out. And it's going to make it like a transitional into me actually talking. So let's listen to it now. Hold up, Mario. You see how the music faded out? So, yes. Yeah, so that's also another thing that I use a lot. Um, but yeah, those really the main tools and features that I use a lot. I like to use audio. I like to break up the clips and cut out stuff. I like to utilize the transitions and I always like my music to fade out when it's going into a different clip. So those like the main things that I use all day long. Um, there are also other things. I don't use titles as much as um as a matter of fact i don't even use titles on imovie i create titles in canva and do a whole green screen but we're gonna say green screen for a different video but i just wanted to hop on here and quickly just kind of introduce you guys to imovie and go over the different um pieces and techniques that i use almost every time every day so if there's anything in particular or anything specific that you want me to sit down and cover and do it slow because this video was very fast paced I will slow it all the way down for y'all okay just let me know um but I'm super excited about this new series on my channel make sure y'all thumbs up if y'all really feeling this don't forget to leave some comments down below and I'll see y'all in the next video bye y'all <laughs>
before I end this video, y'all, right here is going to be a video that pop up on the left hand side. That is a video of me showing how to edit iMovie using your iPhone. Okay, this video been up for a couple years. Y'all was not messing with me. So if you want to see how to edit videos using your iPhone, click on that video right there on the left top hand side of the corner. But yes, I will see y'all next video. Bye.